find your place. Hey guys, uh, thank you for coming in. My name is Christopher Lee, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Metalympics, one of the partner metaverse agencies of the Sandbox Metaverse. Today we prepared a really exciting education and corporate training talk for you guys. Um, especially at this moment when Metalympics is really expanding this metaverse education business, I think it's the right time to invite the right people into this venue so that we can talk about this exciting topic. Before we get started, let me introduce today's guest speaker. We have Attila. He is the head of the education of Metalympics. <laughs> and we have Eric joining us today as well from the Sandbox Creator China. Hi uh, everyone. Before we get started with the five high chat, I want to allow Eric to give us a short presentation about the Sandbox. To give the audience a lot of general understanding of the sandbox metaverse, Eric, the please do it. Thank you so much. Hi everyone. Uh, so, uh, this is Eric from the sandbox team. So, um, I don't know if you guys have uh, heard about sandbox before. So, uh, it's just a chance to introduce some foundation information about the sandbox. So, um, what is the sandbox? Actually, Sandbox is an open metaverse platform that we allow everyone to create their assets and then uh, to, to uh, you create an asset and then you have uh, your own right to visit to become an NFT and then you can have your own conversations, you can put it into our marketplace, you can set up the, 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 the value and the prizes and then uh, also with those assets, you can use those assets to create your own experience inside the Sandbox platform. So we have our own tokenomics. So uh, uh, we are using send tokens. Uh, send tokens you can you can you can uh, like transfer or digital or or or, or uh, to transfer to become another currency. Actually, so and then we are in the Ethereum thing, and then uh, we are going to migrate into Polygon soon. Uh, and then. Um, with the, uh, we are a uh, gaming platform, so that's why uh, we allow the user to, to play uh, the game inside the Sandbox platform. And also, uh, we have the tech community just to let people to, to uh, experience uh, about the future gaming environment. So also, uh, we have already got like 30, uh, 300 uh, something uh, IP and friends uh, or from all over the world. And then they already joined the Sandbox platform, they own their own digital properties, and then uh, they started to develop their, their own experience and uh, will be open to coverage soon. So, um, actually, uh, this is the map of Sandbox. Uh, well, we have, so we got a limitation for the, uh, the land we uh, uh, provided. We are uh, totally in uh, 166 and 464 lands in total. So it's already released uh, 70 percent at this moment. So we that's that's me. We only uh, got like 30 percent left. Uh, we'll be open to public for public lands and uh, and with different kind of branding, uh, they can they can try to contact us. And then if they have some idea or uh, they got some. Uh, 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 they want to know more about how to develop their project inside the metaverse. They can always contact us, and then we will share a lot of information with them. Okay, so uh, just as I mentioned, uh, there's already like uh, 300 something. Actually, it's all uh, around 400 right now. Uh, we got different kind of category uh, uh, projects that already own their own digital uh, assets and then uh, they started to create some experience people. So from Hong Kong, we have like uh, NTR, we have uh, Ocean Park, we have HSBC, PCCW, uh, PWC Group. Uh, all of them, they already own their uh, digital land. With those digital lands, they already started to create their own experience. Uh, they can they can always um, monetize and or uh, they can try to like uh, they can decide what kind of project they would like to do. They can work with different kind of agency uh, to help them to develop the metaverse experience. So uh, with different uh, size of the lens, they can create different kind of projects and then um, 
thing is ending right now, but uh, we will have more and more uh, 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 development experience to support for the future uh, environment. So, uh, actually, because Sandbox is a gaming platform, so we what is the future uh, uh, of uh, future gaming? Uh, we are not just uh, normal, just, just like traditional gaming platform, but we allow the user to contribute their content into our platform. So, that means they can also join to build a new game, they can create their own assets, they can have a play to users. Everything they earn from the game play is uh, totally belongs to the user itself. So, just for example, when I get some NFT or get some token, because uh, of uh, from some painting or submission, it, it will be uh, owned by the user design, but not uh, by our platform. So, just like um, just a simple concept, uh, the traditional, tra traditional game, when you play a game and you got some items or you got some questions from the game, it, it's just only a data. It's not really belongs to the user design. Uh, in terms of all these items, if, if it is NFT, then you can deliver to the user. And then the user can use those NFT to create an application, or they can sell them to others. So, um, what we are trying to uh, uh, help the creator, actually we provide two software. Uh, actually, it's free download is uh, for, for the developer. Developer, they can start their own development. So we process it. They can create those virtual assets. And everything actually inside that box is created by the developer. And then they can use that software to end it to become a, a, a asset or NFT. And then they can also upload it to our marketplace. They can set up their own organization. And then also, um, after that, using those assets, they can put it into their uh, gaming environment. So, and then they can set up the, uh, the uh, game logic and then uh, develop all the uh, items that they have inside the game. So, uh, actually, uh, we always have a uh, sandbox in the community. And if you are a, uh, an architect, uh, you start your creation in the sandbox. You can have your uh, uh, party area, you can create your own fashion collection. And, uh, if you are uh, an NFT artist, you can create a um, museum um, to put your uh, NFT collection into it. So we also we can do some sharing session. You can have a shopping area, uh, and then um, yeah, we, have, we can create a social and dating area for different kind of event or or workshop. So try to imagine maybe someday someday later uh, we don't have to go to uh, any venue to have some sharing session, so we can do it in that sense as well. So uh, actually, and then basically we are. In this platform, so we allow the developers uh, from all over the world they can submit their uh, creation to our platform, so uh, and then they can publish that uh, creation for the global users. And also, because of this um, new platform, uh, we create a lot of opportunity for the, for the public users. So, uh, if you are a creator, definitely you can start your creation at any time. Uh, you, you can, uh, if you are a uh, fashion designer, interior designer, or a game designer, uh, you can always start your creation. So, uh, if you are a community, you are hosting a community, you, you can also bring your community in the inside and box. So, you can host uh, uh, any kind of event or gallery inside the network um, for the business side. If you are an owner, you can also, also uh, try to manage your own digital access. You can sell it, you can rent it for other projects, you can collaborate with different kinds of projects in the future. And also, there's some 
something like uh, the digital real estate agency. They also um, already started to try to help people to find the right one and then to purchase it. And uh, if you are a player, it's very simple. You can try to play you can do a lot of uh, content, you can uh, do your live streaming, you uh, present uh, to, to bring the uh, gaming experience on the offer. Yes. Um, so, um, actually, we're also supporting a lot of creators uh, all over the world. Uh, in Hong Kong, uh, actually, this is one of our metaverse agencies in Hong Kong. So, uh, we kind of uh, we will refer some uh, uh, clients or partners for them to, uh, to, to help them to help our clients to develop their own uh, metaverse uh, experience. Because there's so many different kinds of experience that they can build. They can build a game, they can build an esports competition, they can build an event. So um, there's a lot will be coming up. So if you guys uh, uh, would like to join the sandbox uh, and find to create something or to put some project, we are always welcome to And uh, so um, I think uh, uh, there's so uh, uh, some contents are uh, always for 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 this year, always talking about metaverse. So uh, but I would say sandbox is the one that we really use as a gameplay you know, for the topic at this moment. So this is our during our upper season three actually is already assisted and open for public users. Any one of you just create a sandbox account, then you can join and experience our our campaign about our season three. We are covering about like 90 games in total. So that's a 10 weeks campaign to let users to understand more about what you can build inside sandbox, what you can do uh, with this uh, special area, and then you can also try to play the features. You can know that how as a user. How I can join uh, with no any, uh, uh, we don't need we don't need any tokens or you don't have to pay any 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 fee for set up so you can uh, already start to play a game and then somehow you can uh, you can uh, have some report out there. And then uh, for other season three we uh, we have uh, like twenty uh, Brand and IT already uh, created their own experience in here. So you can find a new dog, you can find Steve Paoki, you can find uh, one music, engine, a uh, Ubisoft, uh, uh, even the walking deck, they have their own games uh, released inside of the country. And then there's one of uh, very special uh, uh, experience that created by uh, with SCMP and uh, one of the local studios in Hong Kong. This is already assisted. Uh, they built a central hub uh, into the metaverse. Uh, and if you guys have, uh, want to explore more, you can just open the uh, central account, create a central account, then you can try to understand uh, how this SCMP is going to build their own. Uh, this is their first metaverse project in Hong Kong. So, um, there's a little bit of gamification, I guess we have a, it's also to show that how they use this experience to train the users to join their um, Discord and also uh, it's a marketing tool for them to let the public user understand more about their architect and their design. So um, you can see this is my hour, we can see the box, a little bit <laughs> And then uh, there's some uh, uh, social media channels. If you want to know more about Sandbox, uh, you can always check uh, join us in Discord or uh, visit our website so you can understand more details on it because there's so many contents we we, uh, we, we can cover today. So, um, yeah, please follow us. Uh, and this is a QR code for Amazon Season 4, so you can also. Uh, Sorry, how about you three? So you can also join it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation about the panel. Now let's get into the main event of today, the most fun part of it, which is the Marshall Challenge.
we are not in a battle for most of the people. Actually, you don't need to know have uh, very deep coding knowledge to start with. Actually, it's no no code base, and you can always start there with a very simple uh, uh, introduction. And, uh, so after that, if you want to do more complicated things, then you can you can explore more in the So at, at least you can start in a very uh, easiest way. What else? Oh, yeah.
with this creation, um, uh, people also enjoy, we, we may kind of, uh, we own a lot of combinations. Uh, um, and actually it's not distorted. So with these combinations, both creators, they can join us, and then they can show their own creations uh, to uh, our platform. And also maybe, if they're working really well, they can get some reward for that. So uh, actually it, uh, it's a really, uh, really quick, uh, attractive prize for them. Uh, and also, we have a um, uh, game maker form and a creator form. Actually, uh, they can just simply submit their own creation with us and then we have some funding support for them. Uh, uh, we, have, we have two other uh, local students on top. Uh, they just start with some uh, three people with, uh, and then they submit things they do to us and then uh, they pass the dollar with uh, a technical fund and we, we, we started to provide some content for them. And then they all uh, they started last year, like around August something. So uh, today they already become a very people uh, uh, workshop uh, inside Hong Kong. So I think the goal is really it's like a, there's a hat a little bit at the, the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we will better Yes. Sure. Today, they already become a 30 people uh, uh, workshop uh, inside Hong Kong. So I think the goal is really hard for them to start with the creation inside the world. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Um, hopefully you have better effects. Can you come work with the technical Yes, sure. Of sandbox. Uh, for your information, we're also in the process of applying for the game because of that there is a question. Let's start talking about the university then. I think there are different problems sections, especially when you're talking about the education. One of the biggest deals is, of course, the university. Before we start our discussion, I always get so excited to show you the video about our successful workshop we delivered in HKU. Let's take a look at the video. So, a little introduction. We deliver a two days workshop of box set uh, workshop for the HDO undergraduate and postgraduate students on campus, which happened a few months ago. And I feel like you can tell me what you observed there, what you did over there, by like, answering like, the impressions that you had towards the students making all those assets. Anything you want to add? Oh man, I mean, it was a really great time. Uh, I mean, I was really like happy to deliver this workshop as instructor uh, for the HPU. And also, first of all, I'm gonna talk about like I wanna talk about what we did over the workshop. Yeah, it's a two-day workshop, but it's over two weeks, so like two subjects, consecutive work. And after we give the uh, education to them, how to use the box edit, uh, we gave one week 
for them to submit their assignments. Yeah. Our workshop is actually very uh, distinctive when you compare to other workshops. Like we do not just teach the students and then we will just leave them. No, actually, we try to educate them in a much more proper way. We try to give a chance to practice their skills, the new skills that they acquire. And then from the, all the assets that they create, we try to build HQ main building. So actually this whole workshop uh, is not just education but also as another role. It's like a constructive uh, one of the iconic buildings in the HPU campus. And during the workshop, I, I try to teach the walls edits in every single aspect of details as much as I can. And I got my impression over the students. Oh man, I mean, these students show great potential, like show great performances. Uh, even that after they, after one day of teaching, they they pulled out very fancy access actually for the HQ building the construction for, uh, project. And it was really good to see how the students are really like talented, very eager to learn, not impressed with the work edits. Potential. Yeah. Eric, what did you observe when you visit the staff HQ for the staff of um, Actually, it's a great time to share with the uh, students. Um, uh, we always had an uh, agitation for uh, uh, sandbox is really, really an important part. That because we really need more and more new creators or or someone we really know how to. Uh, do something new inside the metaverse. Uh, we are an uh, open metaverse platform that we, uh, we, we, we need a lot of UGC into it. So uh, with every single creator, they, they will become uh, one of the potential uh, metaverse creators in the future. So to share more, more with the student is really a good time for, for us to do it. Uh, for your information, UGC stands for user generated content. So we truly agree um, that users have to be involved. It's not, it's not all the sandbox that is leading on. Every single one of the community members can represent this crowd platform for sure. Um, as a seller of mentioned, there is there was a video um, of the creation of the students. As you mentioned, there was a final project of building the main campus of the HCU and within just one day of a workshop, students were able to create all these high quality assets. Next up, we had to ignore the benefits we provided for the students who successfully participated in the program. I think, I personally think, the motivation is the key for any education that we do. And we try our best to provide some exclusive benefits for the students who are really eager to submit everything that we requested. Attila, so we, one of the benefits we provided to the HQ students was the office visits to many of the brands, the mother company of the samples, which is one of the most successful companies in this blockchain field. Out of the office visit to any of the brands, what was your observation? What's the worst of them? I mean, Animoca brand visit was a real fantastic experience that I had. Uh, at the beginning of the visits, like, people were so friendly that they are Hamas and then they feel a really like, fantastic and detailed uh, conference class about like, the NFTs and NFT collection of their design that they hired for the companies and then their thoughtful game plans and how I mean how they're gonna like create like the further project for the maybe like the uh, for their agenda like the games and so and everything. So it was like very educative in my opinion. And also like after these all the conferences uh, from variable people we visit the, the hall of and uh, it was literally amazing, it was in the cyber course. And uh, people are working like a bee over there <laughs> to create all the assets and all the games. 
for the deadlines and it wasn't like engaging on most really atmosphere right there and also like as far as I observed from the participants who completed the workshop successfully and also attend this company visits, they were also like very interested in this field as well. So I mean, with this Animaco brand visit, actually we increase the motivation of the students and maybe probably we're gonna have, we're gonna impact them for the future career options. Because like when you look at the, the students' background, some of them come from the engineering, some of them come from the science, some of them taking the master in statistics phases. Uh, but at the end of the day, as far as I can tell, these people do not just consider any kind of jobs for their background, but also they will consider to work in a metaverse agency before the sandbox to play games and create assets. So it was a really great moment. Also, it's really great to emphasize that all the students who visited still in the grants also had an internship opportunities at the end of the grant. So it was a truly rewarding journey for them and in terms of these career opportunities. Eric, does that have plan to do anything really interesting about the education in partnership with any of the grants in Hong Kong in the coming future? Um, actually, not, not partnership because we are part of the new grant. Right? So, so that's really, really a lot of things we could do in the future. So, um, uh, actually, uh, 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 Sandbox is just only one of the uh, manifest projects that we have uh, under Animal Program. So, uh, Animal Program did cover much more, right? Uh, they, they've got a lot of NFT projects, uh, crypto wallet, small projects. So, um, yes, definitely, we will do a lot of uh, uh, and, um, I would say, um, actually, there's a lot of Animal Program projects. They already got some land inside Sandbox. So, Definitely, they will, they will combine with their own project itself with uh, Sandbox special uh, experience together, and then maybe somehow uh, uh, to bring more utility uh, based on their NFT uh, and different products. Yeah. Also, we will report with. Next up, we have prepared another benefit for the students who have finished their workshop, which was the exclusive offsetting contest that the submission. Something related to Hong Kong as well. So, 
because then I, mean, I can see like the you know, motivation behind it. Because like if we think that most of the competition is not that motivational, we think that we do not see this kind of like good results. So in our future, like in terms of metabolic education, under the metabolic method, we think to organize the engines and most of the competition for our workshops. Because like motivation is the key. Motivation is the thing that uh, they're gonna make you to do everything uh, that you wanna reach. So that's why we try to implement most of the competition and the engines, with the price pool, uh, on the other side. <laughs> yeah, um, Eric, anything you want to add? Um, I, I, I just want to say, um, actually, yeah, 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 uh, yeah truly, um, Sandbox provide a lot of reward for the creation to attract those uh, uh, creators and a uh, motivation to join any kind of, uh, to start with their own creation. But, but you can see, actually, under Sandbox environment, the creation is no limit. You can create anything inside the metaverse. So uh, we can host some competitions based on uh, Hong Kong theme or or somehow some fantasy theme. Anything, anything. Uh, we can we can we can have different kind of competitions or theme, theme uh, later for different kind of workshop or different kind of competitions. Sure, yeah. Before we wrap up this chapter of university, are there any more cases from Hong Kong University kind of about the matter of education that you can share? Oh, we, we do have a sharing session with uh, Hong Kong Business School, uh, HKU Business School, and MBA students to let them to know more about uh, the sandbox. Uh, uh, and I, I think there's, uh, uh, from their information, uh, they, they said that uh, most of the uh, students, they would like uh, uh, they, they, they said that their future uh, career, they would like to have something related to the metaverse. Yeah, this is from their information. Okay. Uh, cool. okay. uh, we will really look for more universities and more college overseas to find a top the better education for their students. Next up, we have secondary school. Um, for the secondary schools, that I really want to highlight the fact that Madame Le is recently signed a deal with one of the local secondary schools in Hong Kong, that we will deliver a 12 sessions of metaverse education to their secondary school students. Um, so, why do you think uh, the secondary schools in Hong Kong are really interested in adopting this metaverse education? What kind of usefulness are they looking into, in your opinion? That's a great question. So, to answer this question, we need to look at from two perspectives. One perspective is like, uh, the design of the high school uh, to give opportunities to students. So, in this perspective, I mean, under this perspective, I mean, high schools can give very really, like unique opportunities for these students to learn something new and something very really shiny. I mean, let's be realistic. In today's world, there is no way you didn't hear the name of Metaverse. If you didn't know, if you didn't hear the Metaverse, then probably you, you know like a lot of the news, maybe. Uh, it's very hard. Like everybody knows or everybody heard what is like blockchain, the NFTs, like the metaverse, and so on, cryptocurrencies. So in this today as well, to satisfy the needs of the future, definitely we need to teach the students. And like starting from the secondary school, I think it's a very great idea. Like, as much as only we can start, then the future is going to be shaped. According to the knowledge of this uh, young talent and uh, our the young generations. And also, another person to answer this question is that the secondary school, how the secondary school can identify themselves, right? So, with the metaverse education, with the our packages, the education packages, the secondary school can identify themselves very distinctly compared to other high schools. Let's be real, not in a high school that actually tries to give a metaverse education to their students. Don't see that. But when the parents are going to see, like, oh my god, there's a metaverse education a workshop going on and they're going to offer by the high school and the metaverse education to their students, they're going to be attracted because they know that, like, the parents are going to know that this high school is capable to catch up to chance, 
knowledge of the popularity and also provide new opportunities for their students. And also, the last thing that you mentioned is the university admission budget. Because, like, one of your main goals in the high school is that the basic day be accessible in the university application. And I can remember that during my university application time, some university asked me that whether I got like uh, an online course or any kind of software. And at the beginning, I mean, during that time, online courses like the Coursera and Udemy were not that popular. But still, like, I, at the university, try to see like something new, uh, something that can get the potential uh, in the future, in your resume or in your application. So once the high school students can able to put their metaverse education certificates or their knowledge in the last college essays or in your resume, they're gonna have higher success rates for the university application for sure. Great, Eric, anything you wanna add? Um, can be a bit more. Uh, I, I would say, um, actually, uh, to learn more about metaverse, uh, uh, there's no. Uh, I think you can always start at you know, very young ages. Just like uh, we just have a workshop for eight years old uh, 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 kids this morning. So, um, because for folks that it, it's very easy, they just like building or something for that. So, um, at least they can have some creation and then they have some concept about how they can bring their own digital assets into the metaverse. So, uh, to start with a younger age, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a good for them to understand more of yeah. you. For sure, yeah, for sure. So, uh, for secondary schools, what do you think is the benefit uh, of them working with Metalethics particularly? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first of all, is the, the language option. Metalistics Limited is capable of delving their workshops and education packages in Mandarin, Cantonese, and English. And because of the English, that if you are the, if the only like, company that can deliver the, the workshop in English, very really successful. Like, that's successful. And the second thing is the promotion. And of course, I'll be taking care of the students, I'll be taking care of the high school as well. So, in our education packages, we're gonna promote the high school as much as we can with our high quality videos and the photos and the assets and everything. So the high school has an advantage uh, to advertise themselves compared to other high schools. If they work with us, for sure. And the third thing is the our workshop programs are fortified with AR, augmented reality. So of course, I think you're going to talk about like, the domestic reality uh, for sure. Yeah, talking about AR, I think it's the time to bring it up again about our recent partnership with one of the local AR technology companies called Visionary. Um, that to briefly talk about what Visionary is capable of is that they're going to take your creation of the assets into your smartphone video. So you can integrate your creation, for example, you make something like books in it. Your NFT can be a part of your promotion video. So that students think, for example, they play, make something, they can go back home with the very interesting visuals of their creation. And I think it's one of the things that we just mentioned, motivation. That once they see their progress, once they see that, oh, their creation is very useful in somewhere, and I think this is one of the best ways that we can first of all differentiate ourselves from other education packages and also at the same time find and motivate and deliver more immersive uh, programs to the students out there. So one of the videos that we took at this the sandbox clear venue, uh, we also had one, you know, assets just inside our Canada Museum venue. Imagine those students at the campus, the students will build something and make their own avatars on the campus video itself. I think those, uh, those applications are very meaningful applications that we really highlight. One of the examples, put your avatar on somewhere else. This is one of the HTUS campus pieces um, that they created their avatars. I mean, you can even make a tag. You need to film a video so that you can upload on your social media pages, on your website, or even for the secondary school, you can create a whole lot of portfolios that you're talking about. 
So, how do you envision AI technology being used for this exciting part of education? Okay. First of all, I want to say that uh, probably you will not see a kind of workshop with the AR in it. Uh, especially the workshop is about the metaverse. We are doing the first one. We try to adapt AR technology in our metaverse education programs. And about the vision of the, the, our partnership with them, uh, we're going to use this program to motivate the students. Because, as we mentioned before, motivation is the key. Students need to see that they are skills that they learn that through the walls and through the game and through from our international education program. They need to see that they can actually apply these skills in many fields. So it's, this is one of them. This is one great, this is one great uh, example of how they can apply their skills to get quality visions with their assets in the real world. And also I want to give another example. Like recently, I mean, many months passed already, but recently there was a movie in the cinema, like Space Jam. Actually, they make the first version to Space Jam, like in the, like in the time, it's like in Jordan. Like you saw, like they shoot the normal movie in the real world, but they add cartoon characters on top of it. In, in the near vision, they put the 3D version of the cartoon characters on top. So it was a really like a collage of real life and the features and assets that were created by the, the movie makers. So this is something actually similar, like this vision is. Like they will use their phone, they will shoot the reality. But in that reality, they're gonna put their own kind of assets and they will get some visuals very similar to the result of this case jump I think it's very exciting and I'm pretty sure that everyone is uh, like gonna learn visionary and they're gonna be excited as well once they have done their Everybody thinks using AR technology in education will this is the future, though, right? And you should, uh, because everyone got a cell phone. So with this uh, uh, AR technology, you can always do a lot of demonstrations uh, with uh, uh, to work with the real world. So yeah, you, you should apply for your education with sandbox creations. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for the comments. Uh, the last chapter we will discuss today is the corporate training. Why do we bring this up? We have super experiences having inquiries from so many different companies. Since everything is pretty much new in this field, that so many things are changing, blockchain, metaverse, there are a lot of new terms that employees, especially the management side, don't really have a good understanding about. And even for myself, have delivered a several training or kind of lecture session to really talk about what the sandbox is capable of, what we can do on the sandbox, and the future direction of the sandbox is pretty much. Right? There really needs to be a business opportunity. Eric, could you share about a little bit of experience about how many times that you have received such requests on the traveling to the boxes and delivering such a patient or training? Oh, wow. There's a lot of training that we are uh, we will focus on for the uh, upcoming. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, because um, just as, as I mentioned, uh, there's a, a lot of new concepts that for the corporate they, they, they need to understand. Like, for example, how to manage their own digital assets, who got to uh, manage those uh, uh, casualties, uh, how to create their own NFT collections, how to create their own uh, 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 experience uh, inside the metaverse, uh, what kind of campaign they can work with the sandbox uh, uh, event in the future. So there's a lot of things that we need to do uh, with those corporate uh, brands and uh, partners. And then, uh, because I think uh, there's a lot of people talking about like metaverse is a trend for now. So uh, there's a, 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 to, to work with sandbox, we are not just uh, talking about some announcement or marketing uh, purpose. But they really need to do uh, development, and uh, we need to uh, communicate a lot uh, to, to know more details about how they're going to build in the future. So this is what we are doing right now. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so what we shot one photo from myself delivering a training session from Oak Forum 
some key members of a family who want the uh, biggest market insurance in the world also visited, visited this venue. So I had a, a wonderful chance to deliver such session to the employees. So yeah, as I mentioned, based on my experience, there are a lot of companies that really want to know the sad boss. They really want to explore their opportunities on this metaverse. So if you're from like an organization that would like to like adopt the sandbox metaverse as a part of your business tactics or strategy, um, feel free to talk to me after this talk. I will try my best to tell you what I can do for you. Um, now we would like to wrap up this chat by asking about your future direction. Attila. Yes, I mean, we have so many things to do right now and we took a great progress. I want to start with uh, our uh, plan to make a workshop or even a workshop series for the HQSC. Yeah, I mean, we made a really successful workshop for the HQ, but also we want to uh, do for the other universities as well, the top universities in Hong Kong, first of all. And we will expand our university workshop series to the HQSC. And we made a great progress in terms of the as well. And the second thing is the international schools, yes. Uh, first of all, of course, like, we're going to increase our deals, the number of deals in the secondary school and in our target, we're targeting the, the, the highest uh, international schools. Yeah. And as I mentioned, one of the advantages to work with the is is like getting the workshop in English as well. So basically, we're going to deliver high quality workshop in English to the international schools while maybe like Cantonese. Uh, to local schools. And the other thing that you mentioned is Udemy. After my research of the markets, like a very intensive research of the markets, or the workshop and the courses about the box edits and any kind of voxel art related design programs, uh, the game makers, and basically the sandbox metaverse, uh, we are planning to make our own online course for the Udemy platform. So we started to plan how we're gonna plan the curriculum and also how we're gonna execute this uh, online course in a more structured way that we can publish to the society and publish in the Udemy. Another thing to mention which is very important is you know for like export. So we got a book to represent our company, Metalympics Limited, in a really great and big exhibition, in an expo. It's going to be conducted in exhibition center. And this is the place. I think it's really, really cool because like, once you go to this place, you're going to see some advertisements of like the big, big companies and now we're going to also show uh, our company along with others in an expo. And it's proves that like, we did a good job in metaverse like, education at this point. Right, we are also communicating with different branches of the sandbox out there, including the Turkey, uh, that we're trying to expand our education business globally to a larger audience. What about Eric? Eric, um, what kind of, how do you plan to push this metaverse education of the sandbox in Hong Kong? Well, there's there just a lot of things we need to do, like, uh, just you mentioned education, event, online, offline, and then uh, the most of the important thing that we need to uh, improve that is uh, we are really focusing on the deeper uh, some more uh, development tools for Africa. So with this these development tools, uh, we can allow uh, more creators they can do more things inside the metaverse. Uh, our upcoming event will be uh, a, a metaverse concert. Uh, it will be, I think we are targeted to launch it uh, in 2022, maybe Q4, I would say. And then, uh, uh, and then we will have more conversation coming up, and then uh, more and more thinking uh, to, to attract more public users and also the players and also the brands to come into the sandbox business. Exciting, I definitely look forward to the older version of the sandbox to my myself. My name on my iPhone. So, thank you so much, guys, uh, for coming in. We have all the social media pages. Make sure you follow us on our Twitter. Uh, you can usually find us by having our name. Uh, we also finally have a privilege. 
Another motivation part that we want to mention is we have a lofty draw for the alpha pad. Little description. Alpha pad is um, so one thing in the team that based on your progress on the alpha season three, you can win up to 500 sand tokens, which is equivalent to. Sorry, I think the form isn't working. Let me um, check it out within a few minutes. Uh, just, I will pull this up again later uh, so you guys can check it out. Okay, thank you so much and have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you.